for. And it's shortly a Monday. Look, I look like the paparazzi is coming from me. And now I'm the cover. I just don't want to be sick. I used to work from home on Mondays. No, they changed the rules. Not anymore. Monday, Monday, Monday. My juicy, my juicy story. These are my Jimmy Choo glasses. I get off Poshmark. Anyway, I need to take these sunglasses off, but I really don't feel like taking them off. This is how I feel today. Blessed to have a job. See y'all later on. Okay, so for vlog, Vlogmas Day 4, I didn't do much but go to work and I'm just home. And I'm not really doing much else today, so I decided to give you a sunglasses haul from the sunglasses that I've purchased from Poshmark.com.com. The luxury sunglasses that I purchased at really good prices. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and letting you know the prices and how I find the the uh, authentic products even though it could be because just because they say it's authentic doesn't mean it and Poshmark doesn't verify the authenticity the authenticity unless the items over five hundred dollars so you have to have a good eye and a good pay good attention attention to detail and I'll tell you how I do that at the end of this video how I pick out the products that come out to be authentic once I get them in the mail so first of all I'm going to show you my sunglasses all right one of the pair of sunglasses that I got are vintage 1970s Christian Dior sunglasses and I looked these glasses up online after I received them and before too but people were selling these vintage Christian Dior's for 539 one person 300 and some one person the cheapest I saw other than what I got this for was 75 plus shipping and handling which was like $12 on eBay but other sites that resell stuff they people were trying to sell it for 539 300 and something and these I got for $13 13 bucks people 13 bucks for these vintage 1970 Christian Dior sunglasses and you know, like you know he has to see it to D and it looks like all the others that I looked up in this style the style numbers on there it's right here made in Germany well can you see that but yeah I don't know if you can really my fingers are kind of blocking but yeah it has the style number 201410 201410-10 and I love these. Look how big. Look at, don't I look like somebody from the 70s? Don't I look like somebody from the 70s? <laughs> I love these sunglasses. I love sunglasses, period. But I'm just so in love with all the sunglasses that I purchased. So, yeah. These are the 70s. Which you've seen them in my other videos if you watch my other videos. But I'm doing them all in the collective luxury sunglass haul. To let you know what I paid for them. And just how I saved. Yeah. 13 bucks for these vintage Christian Dior sunglasses and it was only because of these little marks where that where are they it's like you can't even see them it's the marks that the ends of the the glasses made and it's like a little mark it well I have to show you see you can't even see them that's what's great if I do like that you can see see that right there that little line that goes down the bottom and it's on the other side too see yeah those but it does not obstruct your vision and when you have them on people cannot notice they would have to be nose to nose with you so they would have to be giving you a kiss to really see because can you see can you see those marks can you see those marks barely i love these glasses 13 bucks christian dior my next per another purchase that i got i'll say those clothes are my favorite those will be shown last are these fendi Fendi glasses, which came in their case. The Christian Dior didn't come in the case. Of course, they're 1970s. I'm sure they lost the case by now, but these came in their case. The Fendi glasses did. And they're, I love these too. I like these. I like these. And it's the little Fendi symbol on the side. And it has the serial number right in here. You, you won't be able to see it though because it's clear, but I can try to show it. But I would have to have a really good camera to. Uh, Let's see. Well, yeah, my camera is not like that. One day. Oh, yeah, you can see it. You see those numbers on the nose piece? Yeah, that's a serial number, so that lets you know that it's real. And the quality, you can tell just by the quality of how it feels that these are real. And I've never paid money for this stuff, but I, that's why I can tell the difference between the stuff I buy, which is not fakes, but I just buy cheap glasses and this stuff. But well, look at these. Aren't these just as cute?
yeah, these are the Fendi ones. And look at this. I love this, but you can't, not like you can see the sparkly part when you have them on, but I just like, I just love that little part on the inside. I love how the inside looks with all the little else and it's, they're sparkly. I just think those are cute. But anyway, I paid, how much did I pay? Let me look, let me look. For these Fendi glasses, I paid $20. And don't forget the six forty nine shipping for all these items, but still twenty dollars six forty nine shipping twenty six forty nine. That one nineteen forty nine counting shipping. So thirteen dollars six forty nine shipping. Not bad. These glasses look brand new. I guess people sell them because they're old or out of season, but they look new to me. To me, they're new. I'm not rich like that to think. Oh, it's out of season. No, cute glasses, cute sunglasses, are cute sunglasses. And then these three, I got all these three from the same seller. All three of these came from the same woman, and I'll give y'all her uh her uh Poshmark store because she has awesome items in her store for babies, adults, just all ages. I bought some baby shoes. I bought six items. This was bought in a bundle, so I did an offer. She the total was one sixty five, and I did an offer for like one fifty five. She counter offered one fifty, so I went on and paid the one fifty because for the item, just for these sunglasses alone. Should have been more than that. I got Marc Jacobs, right? That's Chanel, Marc Jacobs, and not Prada, it's Gucci, but they had a, it's in the Prada box. But still, for the album and glasses alone, and I got some Kohan heels, some orange ones for the spring. I can't wait. Those are not even worn, brand new for myself. And then I got some baby loafers for a baby, for a baby shower. Little baby patent leather, little boy loafers look brand new. And some little girl, little Zara booties. So those were the other three things that I got, which were shoes that were were included in this bundle. And the bundle was one fifty. So I just took like if you take like two dollars off of each item, you say, Okay, this is what I paid for. This is what they're asking. So I'm gonna take like two dollars and some change off of each item to tell you the price I paid. So the first pair that I will show are the Mark Mark by Mark Jacobs. And they're like a red they're a red color. I like them. See? The little designs on the side, I like that. They're like a reddish brown. I love those little designs on the side. And yeah, and these of course have the name on on the lens right there. Well, if you can see, with my terrible camera, but it's right here. Mark by Mark Jacobs, and it has the serial number there too. Now, on that that side, you see those numbers. Let me see if I can do it like I did the other pair. Trying, I'm trying. Well, you can't see it. It's like down blending in with the red part. But yeah, these I like. And next up. I have the Gucci glasses, which came in a product box. <laughs> but, yeah, this is the belt style, the buckle style. And then, yeah, try to see if you can see the name, the words on it. Well, the lighting is messing it up, but the words are up there. Let's see if I'll get closer. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm putting it the wrong way. Let's see, there we go. There you go. You can see. You see it. It's on both sides too, right up there. But yeah, and it has the little number on the side. The number on the inside. I mean, but yeah. I like these. I like them. Do you like them? Aren't they cute? Paparazzi, where you at? Paparazzi. <laughs> but I like these. I like them, like them, like them. And these are the style. 2591 slash S. That's the frame style on these. And I verified the frames. I look all that. I look up a lot before I purchase, even though I don't pay hardly anything. These, Gu these Gucci's were... Let's see the bando. The bando, bando, bando. 
So she wanted 35 for the Gucci's. Take like $2 off the 35. I paid, what, $33, $33 for these Gucci sunglasses, which is not bad to me. Not to me. And the last but not least of the, the ones from her bundle are, and I'll put her name on this video too. I'll say it and I'll put it on there so you'll know that she has a great store, awesome store. I will be bad from her again. She has all these clothes. It's, it's like going to the mall, but it's her store, her closet on Poshmark. These are my Chanel's. I paid. She wanted 50 so take $2 off of that. I might have paid 48 This is the most that I've paid for any of the sunglasses that I purchased. But I had to have some Chanel's because I don't have any of these items. And Why not? If I can get it, why not get it? Just to say, oh, I got me some Chanel's. And I love sunglasses, so they will be worn. But yeah, these are the Chanel's. Which I've shown you in a recent video, one of my Vlogmas videos, matter of fact, because I just got these, just received these, because these were shipped separately from the other stuff because she said they were at her parents or something. But who cares? They're awesome. They're awesome. And the style on these is 1248G. That's the frame style, the frame. I like them. I like them, like them, like them. And the color of the lens have fades out like that. Yeah. Love these. And last but not least, my favorite pair out of all. And this one actually came with the dust with the rag to clean it. And I clean all my glasses with this because none of the other ones had the rag. But I bought a pair of Fendi for somebody else and they had the rag. <laughs> but this one, the Chanel did come with the little dust rag, so I use it. I'm gonna use it for all of my glasses. This is my favorite pair. My favorite pair, the Jimmy Choo's. The Jimmy, Jimmy Choo's. It's upside down for you all. But yeah, the Jimmy Choo's. These are my favorites. My favorite favorites. These are so beautiful. These glasses just are beautiful. Just, they're beautiful. Look at these sunglasses. Just look at them. They're beautiful inside and out. Look at the inside. Look at these glasses. They are beautiful. Beautiful people. Look at them. I want some more Jimmy Choo's. I'm going to have to find them in other colors because these are my favorite. I love these. And wait till you see them on. Just wait. Oh, how cute is this? How cute are these glasses? How cute are these glasses i'm just saying these glasses are so adorable and that's my favorite pair so far i do want to still try to get some louis vuitton glasses and maybe some i think christian lou bolton makes little glasses too and some other brands that I haven't got. Tory Burch. Tory Burch's are very affordable. So I may get some Tory Burch sunglasses. I want all the sunglasses for the spring and summer. And when I go to Jamaica in June, have all my sunglasses, man. For Jamaica, man. Yeah, man. Anyway. Oh, I don't know if I showed you these little this little five-piece ring set. When I showed you all my Zaffle haul. This came with my Zaffle haul. This five-piece little ring set. It was only a dollar something. Like a dollar fifty or a dollar twenty-three cents. And, of course, I'm, I have to put some clear fingernail polish on it to make it last or something. Because I do really like this set. So, I will put clear polish on this one. See if it can last for a little while. I done washed my hands a whole bunch of times today with these on. And they haven't faded yet. But I know I need to put some clear polish on them if I want to wear them for a little bit. But, yeah, those were from Zoffel. This little five-piece ring set. But, anyway, that concludes my sunglass haul from Poshmark. And I will also put the prices in the video as it goes along. And the name of that store, her store, that the best store where I got the three pairs of glasses and the not a good stuff. She won't go down on the price too much, but she'll go down a little. But her stuff is quality, so I see why. And it's Mad J84. So M A D, it's all lowercase, M A D J 84. That's her seller name, her closet name on Poshmark. And my Poshmark tips on how to get these luxury items, because I get purses, shoes, everything. But what I do, which I've mentioned in my other videos, what I do to try to get as close to authentic as possible is I do do a lot of searching. And I also 
have a price range in my mind of what I want to spend. So I don't go for the first item that I see. Them, that, ooh, it might be 60 but no, I'm going to go look and see if I see something cheaper than that. Or see something for 20 Or if I see something for 40 And then I'll make an offer for 30 If I see something for 40 Don't ever be ashamed to make an offer on Poshmark. Man up and woman up. Don't be a baby. You want to get good deals, you got to be a man and a woman. And go on and make your offer. Don't be ashamed. They can't. What can they do? All they can do is decline or counter offer it doesn't hurt because there's plenty more products on there that you might like they might be the same thing and you can offer on those or it might even be cheaper but I do always make an offer if I can if the price is really really low I may offer one dollar less than the price just to, so I can try to win with the offer but anyway don't be ashamed to make an offer and when you see the item make sure like if, with sunglasses, make sure they don't have a whole bunch of brand new pair of sunglasses, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, whatever. Don't like they don't have a closet full of these new items because usually that's that fake stuff that people sell. And also, just make sure it's gently used. I try to make sure it's gently used. Like with shoes, you can get away with it not being worn because sometimes people buy shoes and then they never wear them. But and it's not too many fake shoes in certain brands. So, but with sunglasses and purses, you gotta really watch. So with sunglasses and purses, I, I look at the person's closet and see what other items they're selling and make sure they're not selling all brand new items. And make sure they have other luxury brands like their clothing comes from like Free People, places like that. Or they have uh, Gucci clothing or Marc Jacobs clothing or uh, Tory Burch clothing. If they have stuff like that, then I'm like, okay, or Chanel clothing then you know, okay, they buy high dollar stuff and it's not all brand new stuff. So if they buy this much high dollar stuff and they have luxury purses too, they're not all brand new, then you know, okay, more than likely this person has some real stuff. I look at their profile pictures. I look at where they're from. But that's what I do to kind of key in on, okay, I think this, this is some real stuff right here. And also, some of them will tell you, like when people are trying to order, oh, I'm out of the country right now, but I'll be back. I'll, you can order it for me when I get back, or my closet will be back open when I get back in the country. If they're traveling like that, they probably have real stuff. Now, me, I travel, and I don't buy the, the, the real stuff, but they, if they're traveling out of time, they probably got the real stuff. So, yeah, just look for some of the stuff they say in the comments. Because some people, they'll put authentic in their thing, but then other people might give you a hint in the comments, this is not real. And stuff like that. Always read the comments of the products you're going to buy as well. Because it'll be people that really know if this stuff is authentic or not. But then it could be a hater. So you also research. That's my key thing to out research. Because a lot of the sellers, like with these sunglasses, they'll put the model number on there. And you can research that model number and see what that frame of those sunglasses or glasses is supposed to look like. And that also helps you verify if it's authentic or not. So yeah, just do that. Do those things because you can't go to their websites because a lot of these, like I said, they're out of season. Or maybe some websites don't even sell sunglasses anymore. I think Mark by Mark Jacobs didn't sell sunglasses on their website anymore. But you just look by the style number and you'll see it other places because if they're out of season, it's not going to be on their latest website. So. If you, if you get the most recent versions, you're going to pay a little bit more. But, hey, it's not as much as what you're paying in the store. So it's always good if you want this season's and somebody else doesn't want theirs anymore. You'll get it cheaper than what you pay in the store. And it's in great, be in great shape. Usually people are honest and tell you if they have scratches. I also make sure that people have at least about four pictures of the item. Don't take an item if it just has one picture. Don't take items if they have pictures that look like they came out of a magazine or something like that. Make sure it's a picture that looks like it's in somebody's house. On a, on a table or just somewhere a house picture not a little photo picture from a magazine or a website not a picture that's just like a perfect picture and make sure they show all angles of the product if it's shoes I make sure I see the bottom of the shoes top of the shoes the size the heels every part of the shoe if it's purses I want to see the inside of the purse the outside of the purse the handles with sunglasses I want to see all the angles of the sunglasses so I can see the model number everything this and lens close up to make sure there's no scratches all on the lenses because they do some people will have sunglasses on there and not tell you about the scratches they expect you to just look at the pictures and see the scratches but then there's a lot of honest people that do let you know that there are scratches but they don't obstruct the, obstruct the vision but uh, yeah just make sure you look at the pictures so this hopefully this helps you when you go posh marking that's my tips 
So, hope you enjoyed this mini haul. Happy Vlogmas. Subscribe, subscribe, and share. And don't forget about my 500 subscriber giveaway. We're getting closer. Closer and closer and closer. Last time I checked, I had 456 subscribers. So, that means I just need 44 more. Share it. Get the word out. The gift, the giveaway is a, a basket of new makeup products that I got from Ricky NYC on sale. It's in one of these videos. You'll see the makeup. I haven't put it in the basket yet, but soon I will because I'm getting closer to that 500. And the other part, if it's a man that wants it or if a woman wants it for a boyfriend, is a bag of cologne samples, of high dollar cologne samples. So, yeah, that'll be putting, I'll put that in the basket, make it a little fancy too. And maybe I'll throw some gloves and the hats in there with that. Something just to make them fancy, a little cute. But yeah, when we get to that 500 subscribers giveaway, then 1,000 subscribers, we got a major. It's going to be an even bigger giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. So keep watching, subscribe, have a happy blog, Vlogmas. And if you want some stuff, you don't have to be rich to afford luxury stuff. I don't care about secondhand at all, as long as it looks good. So poshing is what I do. I just started Poshmark about a month ago going on there, and I love it. I'm like addicted to Poshmark, but I can I know when to stop. But I'm loving it because I can get stuff that I've always wanted to get without paying that money that I don't want to pay. Because I'd rather take a trip somewhere than buy a pair of sunglasses for 600 bucks. I can go to Europe for 600 bucks. No, I can't do that. I want to take my trips. I love to travel. And I am not balling like that. Even if I was balling like that, I would refuse to pay that much. When I can just pay what I paid. I don't know about seasons and styles. As long as it looks cute to me, I'm going to wear it. So, thumbs up the video. Like I said, subscribe, 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 people. I got plenty of more for you. And share. Be blessed and be a blessing. Bye, Team Random.